Tao, and this is the Stories Making Headlines. Thieves broke into Karen House of Pastor James Nganga early Friday morning and made away with 500,000 shillings and an assortment of jewellery. According to Langata Deputy OCPD Mwangi Kuria, the thugs who were armed with pistols broke into the house at about 3 a.m. and also stole laptops and mobile phones of unknown value. Kuria said the thugs ran away after firing at police officers who were in the vicinity. Pastor Nganga's wife was at home but was unharmed. In the meantime, a Limuru court was due to rule Friday whether to grant Pastor James Nganga and three of his co-accused bail. The three of them applied for the release after facing charges over a road accident last month in which Mercy Jerry was killed. The state, however, opposed the application saying they all previously alleged conspired to defeat justice. Lawyer Asanya Kundi, however, stated that there was no proof that Pastor Nganga and his co-accused would interfere with the witnesses and says that the evangelist had cooperated with the police so far. The four of them spent the second night in custody at the Gigiri police station. Three students of Steph Joy Boys facing charges over the death of three of their colleagues in an arson attack on their school are set to appear before the High Court. The boys have been in police custody for close to three weeks after the courts allowed more time for investigations. State Council told the courts that the police needed time to carry out medical assessments on the suspects and the government chemist needed time to carry out analysis on samples taken from the crime scene. The students, two of whom are under age of 18, are yet to take a plea. And finally, the National Social Security Fund has been given seven days to present an environmental impact assessment report on the construction of Azina Towers or face the action from City Hall. The Nairobi County Government also wants NSSF to clear a 143 million shilling bill for closed public lanes around the project within seven days or risk stoppage of the construction. In a letter sent to Chief Executive of NSSF County Acting Secretary Gregory Mwakanongo says they are yet to receive a functional and implemented traffic management master plan indicating actions to be taken regarding impact or neighboring properties. The county has also directed NSSF to renew their building plans following the current Nairobi County government regulations. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.